Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Where in the world is Sean Tempesta? <laughs> yeah. Last night, uh, snapped at that. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Don Tempesto, my 78-year-old father, uh, staying with me, has been there since uh, late December. And he stays every winter, right, with uh, you? Yes. For uh, for how long, you ask? For as long as Don Tempesto wants. That's how long. Um, and occasionally, he just <laughs> wants to just be concerned. He was like this when I was a teenager. Uh-huh. And he's like this as a grown-ass man. So... <laughs> Last night, as we learned in the 7 o'clock hour, uh-huh. I was at the ballpark trying to find a team to play softball with. Right. No one wanted to play with me. <laughs> Shocking no one. So I get a call on the drive back to the house. It's like 9.50. And do you remember, like, uh, the, on the, uh, the the 10 o'clock news, all, like, almost all the 10 o'clock news is back in the day would have this promo right before the, the opening of the newscast. It's 10 p.m., Do you know where your children are? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Mm -hmm. depending on your city, your state, wherever you were at that point, that was the one. That was I. We had it too. Nationwide, Mm -hmm. crazy. So I, I I answer like, "Hey, what's up? You tell me." (laughs) 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 Like, what do you mean? Uh, Where are you? I'm like, I'm I'm almost home. I'm on my way back. All right. Well, I was worried about you. I'm like, okay, Dad. Well, I'm on my way back home. All right. We'll see you soon. So then I get home, and he comes out of his room, and I'm like, hey. He's like, yeah, don't hate me. I'm like, what? what? He's like, you're, you're going to be gone that way. You're going to leave a note or something. I'm like, Dad, I am 40 with children and a mortgage. <laughs> I am sorry, but, like, no. This is not the way this is going to work. No. Okay? Also, I- you've been gone randomly for random periods of time, and you don't tell me where the heck you are. I guess my question is, like, why wouldn't he call you and <laughs> say, hi, where are you? Or text you, hey, what's up, where are you? Uh, I mean, like... <laughs> but there is this quote. This is true story. My mom says it all the time. My mom says this to me all of the time. And uh, a friend of ours just sent it. It's funny how people think life will get easier when your children are grown. This is where you put your knees on the pavement and pray when they're adults. (laughs) Yes. Because you can't tell them what to do. You can't make, you got to leave a note before you leave. No, I don't. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) But, but I also get it. Like I, like I understand I do it to my sister all the time. She's single. She can do whatever the hell she wants. But like, I have her location. If she doesn't answer me, I'm like, hey, you need to answer. Now that my mom and dad don't live here anymore, yeah. I feel like I've taken over, and uh, and I will I will stalk her until I get a response. You got from each her. other's back. I think the rule, a good rule, is hey, if I'm not coming home tonight, I'll yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah. But like, I I have got a mortgage. I got two now. Actually, <laughs> now I think about it, I got two mortgages, two kids. And a whole bunch of trouble and a pretty good job. I've got this, Dad. Mm-hmm. We're going to be okay. It, the news isn't even on yet. <laughs> yeah. Wait till 10. Yeah. It's not 9.50. Do you know where your children are? Yeah. Also, this was for like your 12-year-old. Yeah. Your, yeah. Like, so I'm, I'm I will forward. say, though, you, you never, ever, ever stop worrying. I do think it just gets more. And then I think to myself, like back in high school when my mom thought I was like, it's, there's this meme that I see all the time. It's like, oh, remember when you were like half dead in a field like from drinking and your mom thought you were at a sleepover? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? But uh, I don't know. It's hard. I don't think a note is needed because no, it's 2024. Absolutely not. But maybe a text. Yes, but he it, could have texted you and asked you where you are. Yeah, sure, but don't like 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 I am the like fourteen year old. <laughs> yes. Like I'm a freshman in high school. Yeah, Dad, I <laughs> own the home you're in. I I own it. Like I you am responsible. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, you were yeah. for sure scolded. We, I had, I, but no, but I scolded him back. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I've had enough. <laughs> this is enough. Like this is the same guy that like didn't let me use the microwave when I was twelve because uh-huh. one time. One time I put a fork in the microwave when I was like eight. <laughs> and it's just like, but like, but some days he would let me be out till 10. But then some days he wouldn't let me be out till 10. Mm-hmm. It just depends on how Donnie T's feeling that day. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I think I'm like that with Jaden, to be honest. Like, I'm like, hey, where, what are you doing? Oh, I'm at, you know, whatever. And it's 1030 and I'm like, well, he'll be, he'll be home soon. And then sometimes it's eight o'clock. I'm like, you better get your ass home. He's like, well, yesterday <laughs> was fine. <laughs> hey, see, this is my, yeah. 702 If you have an older kid, someone that is out of school, 
Are you still on them that much? Do you give them, like, do you know that, hey, they're a grown adult. I love them. I do worry for them. But, like, I know they will make the right decisions. And if, heaven forbid, something happens to them, it's already happened. Well, <laughs> and you know what? You it's do. also, like, because he's not texting you when he's in Boston saying, like, are you home yet? No. It's just because he's there. He probably just missed you. He was, like, just there at the house, but, like... Okay, when's Sean going to get home? He left the house at 2 p.m. He wasn't getting back till 3 a.m. He wasn't texting me saying, oh, yeah, I'm on the set right now. No, he's just like, <laughs> I just, I just, I, it's exhausting. It really is. It's guy's starting to get, uh, we're a little thin. Dad, I love you, but uh, honest to God. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I'm 40 now. <laughs> 4 Shelby texting in saying, I'm 49. I still let my mom know where I am if she's staying at my house. Now, I'm assuming your mom's home when you leave. My dad just go, comes and goes as he pleases. So, like, the days he's gone at night, he does not care where I am. <laughs> yeah. But when he's there and he realizes I'm not there, he's like, he must be dead. <laughs> right. Let me call him. And it's just like if he called me, like, oh, just check and make sure, uh, yeah, you're okay. Yeah. That would be nice. But the attitude, <laughs> <laughs> the gall for him to be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Hey, yeah, hey, nothing. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Ernie texting in saying, and I was out trying to play softball, and we were discussing mm -hmm. potentially starting a softball league. Yeah. Ernie saying, I'll play softball with you. Hit me up. Like, for reals, I'm looking to play softball. Boom. Ernie, our listener, wants to be on our softball team, the Hitmakers. I love to see it. All right. So I love to see it. Amy will only play the early game. <laughs> I'm only going to play uh, six and seven. And by play, I mean bring wine and cheer really loud. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you do to anything else that you're at. <laughs> Peggy texting, I moved in with my mom because she's 84 and needs help. Every time I go out the door, she asks me where I'm going and how long I'll be gone. I feel like I'm back in high school. And yes, sometimes I sneak out so you don't have to tell her my plan. Oh, my God. Now, at least she needs your help. My dad doesn't need my help. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's okay. <laughs> He'll be all right. He helped himself to my kids' snacks yesterday, too. <laughs> They're apple chips, Dad. They're for Colin and Mario. Gosh. What are you doing?